you glad that we're done with the snow now and from hold now up. until summer? Hold up. Allison, would you like to comment on yes. this <laughs> remark here? <laughs> Another storm arriving uh. tomorrow morning for southern Utah. For you in northern Utah, if you really had a rough drive today or maybe you were working from home today or you couldn't get into work, you're going to have a break tomorrow morning. It's not going to be as bad as it was this morning. Now the roads will still be slick though. I want you to know about that. And then across southern Utah, we have winter storm warnings and winter weather advisories in place with the warnings 12 to 24 inches of snow excessive Bryan Head area, Pine Valley Mountains, 6 to 12 inches elsewhere highlighted in that winter storm warning. Right now across the Wasatch Front, maybe a few flurries continuing out there, mainly for the mountains, but really seeing the tail end of this storm for Salt Lake and across southern Utah. Let's go ahead and zoom in. Brian had Alton looking down towards Glendale through Kanab over towards Highway 89. Colorado City. We do have some areas of snow currently coming down and this is the area that we're going to be keeping our eyes on as we head into tomorrow morning. So tonight at 10 p.m. about 15 to 25 for a lot of the state snow fills in tomorrow by 7 a.m. across far southern Utah. I-15 could become a bit tough St. George up through Cedar City. And then throughout the day tomorrow along our I-15 corridor, we've got the chance for some widely scattered snow showers. So we certainly still have the chance for slick areas across the region. It's just not going to be as intense or widespread as what it was last night and this morning, which is great, I'm sure, for many of you. Now, we love this for our water, for our snowpack. This has been such a blessing the last couple of months. We really have had a ton of storms that have really done us well for us here across Utah, and we have some more in the forecast. So what we're looking at for Thursday and Friday for Ogden will be widely scattered snow showers. Friday night and Saturday, a bit of a break. More weather returns this weekend. For Provo, tomorrow widely scattered through Friday. Friday night, Saturday, a break. And then scattered snow on and off starting Saturday night. For St. George, tomorrow scattered rain, maybe a little bit of snow mixing in. For Thursday night, we're going to see snow, maybe some rain mixing in there. And then we're going to have Saturday night your most likely chance for precipitation in St. George, but on and off through your seven day forecast. Now through tomorrow morning, a break for the Wasatch Front for the most part. We'll see one to three inches of snow piling up across southwest Utah in that area that we were just looking at, Brinehead, Glendale, Alton, over towards Hatch. Then through Friday at 10 p.m., we are going to be seeing our Biggest snowfall amounts down towards the Pine Valley Mountains. St. George 42 tomorrow, 48 on Friday, 56 on Saturday, 46 on Sunday. Salt Lake 34 on Thursday, 39 Friday. We're close to 40 throughout the rest of the seven day forecast. We're going to keep things cold and wet through our week two forecast also. So through the first week of March, we're going to have more active weather.